What's good everyone? You're back with Jono for another quick math lesson. Today we're going to be looking at commission again, but just a special type of commission to make sure that people are working their hardest to make some sales, okay? So this is called a sliding scale commission. And what happens here is that there's an agreed upon commission percentage up to an amount of sales, and then you might get more commission for selling even more than that. And a really easy example is when people sell their houses, okay? So what could happen, the agreement between the real estate agent and the people selling the house could be that you get an agreed upon commission rate of between two and 3% usually, up until the market value of that house. So if the house is valued at $650,000, you might say, I'll give you 2.5% for that commission up until that point. But then if you're a great agent and you go above and beyond to sell it for a higher price, I'll give you a higher commission rate after that point. So it's kind of like a win-win. The people selling the house, they're gonna make more money because it's sold for more money. And the real estate agent then has an added incentive to do better because they're getting a much higher percentage of that extra money that they can like wrangle out of whoever's buying. Okay, the mathematics behind it is a little bit funky. There's a couple of steps, but I think you're gonna find it all right. So in this example here, it is the one that I just outlined. So the house is valued at $650,000 and we're getting 2.5% commission for that first bit. Then we get 4% for every dollar after that. We're gonna sell the house for $732,000, which is awesome and we're gonna see how much commission the real estate agent's gonna earn here, okay? So step one is to find out the base commission or the commission for the first $650,000. So we have 650,000 multiplied by 2.5%, which is equal to $16,250. So that's the first bit of commission that the real estate agent's gonna make. So he's already made 16 grand, but we're gonna try and make a little bit more. So we've gotta find out how much extra money we've made for this sale. And so when we're trying to find out how much more, we've gotta use subtraction, okay? We're finding the difference. So the price that we sold it for was $732,000 minus by the market value, or this $650,000, and that's a good $82,000. Okay, so you've made an extra 82 grand if you're selling the house, which is awesome, but you've got to give a little bit more of that back in commission. So then to find the commission earned on that extra 82 grand, all you've got to do is times that by 4%. You can retype it in your calculator if you want, but I'll just chuck in ants, okay? So the answer multiplied by that 4% is equal to $3,280. So the real estate agent gets an extra three grand for doing a better job, okay? To work out our total commission, we just add those two together. So we've got 16,250 bucks plus 3,280, which is equal to a total of 19,530 bucks, okay? And that's our final answer. So when you do look at commission jobs like this, like a real estate agent, sometimes they're referred to as kind of rock star jobs where the winner takes all. Okay, so we can see quite clearly there, for selling a house that's worth $750,000, you just made 20 grand. Pretty good deal, right? But when you do start out at these real estate agencies and stuff like that, the big fish, the guys that have been there for a long time, they make quite a lot of this money, whereas the people starting out do tend to earn below the average Australian wage. So you do just be careful when you come straight out of school or straight out of uni that you're not expecting to make millions and millions straight up. You will have to work your way up. Thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you later.